what's up? Hello, my fellow Hoovians. Hello, guys, what's up? So, I'm gonna do this really, really fast because I have Daleks on my tails, I've got the weeping angels out the window, I've got, I've, I've got a lot of unpleasant things. Seeing as this Saturday, November the 23rd, is the 50th anniversary of the very first episode of Doctor Who. And, well, in honor of the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, I thought I'd make the, one of the Doctor's most famous treats of all time, fish fingers and custard. Yes, as seen by the 11th Doctor. Well, not seen, but as eaten by the 11th Doctor. So, also, I forgot to mention that I have a special guest helping me with the fish fingers and custard. The one, the only, Jim the Fish. So I have Jim the Fish and friend who are going to be helping me. I own the! So, this is what you're going to need to make your fish fingers and custard. To make the fish fingers, you're going to need all-purpose flour, you are going to need salt, you are going to need confectionate sugar, you are going to need these lovely TARDIS blue cups for later, which I'll explain later. You are going to need baking powder, you are going to need dinosaur eggs, you are going to need vanilla extract, you are going to need butter, which happens to be at room temperature, that's very important. You are going to need a bowl to put it all in, and of course you are going to need this thing to mix stuff in, which is actually called a mixer. Right. Also, to make your breading for your fish fingers, you are going to need these. You're going to need these cinnamon graham crackers. You're going to need sugar. You're going to need more room temperature butter. You're going to need a bowl. And of course, you're probably going to need one of these again, the aptly named mixer. Here is your one cup of all-purpose flour. That goes in. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to put in another, but not, not a whole not, not a cup of flour, but you're going to put in one third. And here is your approximate one third of all purpose flour. So, Alright, so half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now goes your half a teaspoon of salt. Next thing that we do after we've done the other thing of the putting our dry ingredients together, we now work on our wet ingredients. So we put in a half a cup of butter. Now we put in our half a cup of confectionate sugar. That's this stuff and no it's not cocaine. Now you add in your egg. our flour mixture that we made earlier and now we start putting it half into our wet ingredients. Now that we've got half of our flour mixture in there, we now combine it together. Now we add the remainder. Now that our mixture is mixed together, we now you now cover it, and you put it in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes. To make the breading for the fish fingers, it's a lot easier if you put the graham crackers in a Ziploc bag, and you take this, which is your rolling pin, and you just do this. But remember, with this stuff, don't press too hard or you'll, put a, you'll puncture a hole in the bag, and that won't be fun. Now that our graham crackers now resemble sand, or close to it, yeah, you have that? Now we have to add in some more sugar. You add one tablespoon of sugar. Stir it. And now we add in a one tablespoon of butter. Alright, so I had to get a bigger bowl to do what I have to do next, which is I have our uh, graham crackers, butter, and sugar, and now I have to mix it together until it resembles wet sand. But in order to do that, I need a bigger bowl because that little one I had just wasn't cutting it. So now we need to 
Turn this into wet sand. All right, so now they are breading for the fish fingers resembles wet sand or at least what we're gonna get to for here today. So that's ready done. So by now it's been 20 to 30 minutes now. So now let's go check how the dough is doing. All right, so here is our nice chilled dough. And now what we're gonna do with that is we are going to turn these into fish fingers. So we've taken our mixture out of the refrigerator and now what we're doing, we are now forming the fish fingers. Well, we're attempting to do that, but this stuff uh, doesn't seem to really want to cooperate. So what I'm having to do is I'm taking the mixture like so, and I am putting it in flour because it is stuff, this stuff is extremely sticky. Oh, come on. Seriously. Work with me. Yeah, this is not going to work out. So we're not, probably not going to have those many fingers. Oh, this is not working out. Recipes are flawed. Never trust recipes. All right, so here are my fish fingers. They didn't come out so well, so they're not really fish fingers. They're more like fish blobs. But anyway, I'm now going to bake them in the oven at 325 for 20 to 30 minutes and uh, see how they go. So, yeah. All right, so here are the fish finger blobs done. Um, they came out well, see? They, they look, right now, they look like they're not done, but they are... They, well, they're kind of soft, but so I'm going to let them cool now. And, uh, surprisingly, uh, I got 11. So, I think that's, that, I think that's uh, perfect. 11 doctors, 11 fish fingers. Alright, so, since the fish fingers are cooling now, I'm going to show you how to make the custard. And that's actually really easy to do. First thing you do is you pour in your instant pudding packet. Your pudding mixture is in here and now we're going to add in one cup of half and half. Now with the half and half added, we now have to mix it together. Now that our pudding is all nice and thickened, now we're going to add in a cup of sour cream. Oops, I forgot to put in the um, vanilla yogurt. Alright, so here is our custard and now it has to sit in the refrigerator and chill for two hours. So I'm going to do that. And oh, look, guess who else is in the refrigerator? It's Jim the Fish and Friend. Well, you only see Jim's friend. Where's Jim? There's Jim. Yep, here it comes. Jim the fish and friend. In my refrigerator. Why not? And there you have it. Fish fingers and custard. Alright, so. There you have it. Fish fingers and custard. So, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, also, why don't you let me know in the comments below. A, if you try this recipe. And B, if you added anything extra, or if you change something from this recipe, why not let me know? Like I said at the beginning of this video, I've been dealing with the Daleks, I've been dealing with Weeping Angels, and most importantly, keeping one step ahead of River Song. Well, you know, you know River. I don't need to go into it. Alright, so, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and, uh, hope you tune in to the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, which is on Saturday, November 23rd, on... BBC America, if you live in the US, or if you live in the UK, which of course, 
why wouldn't you? It's going to be on BBC, BBC HD, BBC 3, 3D, and it's also going to be playing in some theaters, so you might want to go and check out your local theaters to see if the 50th anniversary special is playing. Alright, so, until I see you all again, so there's only one last thing to do. Geronimo!